Principle number two, it's a term that we coined in our company that I'm very proud of because I needed it, and it's called intermittent tech fasting. Now, we've all heard of intermittent fasting. Here, who here has heard of intermittent fasting, right? Yeah, there's a lot of health benefits behind it that we've seen. Organ revitalization, weight loss, weight maintenance. You're not giving up eating, are you? No, what you're doing is you're only eating between certain times of the day, very intentionally. And that's what intermittent tech fasting has done to help balance my life. We've all gone through that situation. I'll give you one of my embarrassing times. I get home from a pretty big day of work. My little five-year-old is ready to get on the trampoline. And I love our trampoline time together. Who here has a trampoline? Okay, I need to side note real quick. You know, I don't like to go to my kids, well, you don't have any idea what it was like. But who rode a trampoline back in the 70s? Anyone here? It was like on a side hill. We didn't have those safety things. 10 of us bouncing up and down. I remember getting slung into a tree going like 50 miles an hour and your shoulders falling off and the big kids are going, shh, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> my kids don't go through that. But my little daughter says, daddy, let's get on the trampoline. So I'm getting on the trampoline and in my pocket, what happens? So I'm climbing on, pull it out. And I mean, one of the most simple, easy, routine things falls through on a real estate deal. I mean, I just, it, it just shocked me. I was, how could this be happening? So right away, I'm mumbling bad words under my breath. <laughs> and my head is out here. And I'm on the trampoline. But am I on the trampoline? No. And you know what my daughter said to me? Daddy, why are you so mad at me? Because we can't separate what's going on in our head from what we have right in front of us. So what I started to do was I started to have these tech fasts. I've worked myself up to four or five days. Like last Christmas, my phone was off for almost five days. Where I said to my parents, people closest, call my wife's phone, because mine's going off. My laptop, closed. Now you have to work up to that. Before I tell you what I did, we all say, yeah, but what about our teenagers? I found a lot of the teenagers to be very fair. And I know you can argue me that, but I found them to be pretty fair. I've said to them with teen groups that I've worked with, look, you're home, you're on Instagram, and someone who really annoys you puts something on Instagram that just, you just can't believe that. It boils your blood. You're ready to write something back. Oh yeah, we've been there. Okay, were you, do you think you'd at that point be nicer to your little sister or more mean? Oh, definitely more mean. Do you think you'd kind of have some attitude with your parents? Oh, definitely some attitude. And I said, okay. I'm not gonna ask you to move to a survival ranch in Montana and cut off all technology. That wouldn't work for either one of my businesses. But what I do wanna see is some tech fasting. So what we started to do as a family is starting at one hour, and we went up to two hours, everyone's electronics are off for one hour a day at the same time. Why does it have to be at the same time? Because we've all been in that conversation, right? We're sitting there talking, and there's the one person, uh-huh, uh-huh, and then there's the time that our kids are trying to tell us something important or they're excited about. Nothing deflates a child's inspiration or confidence than that. Because we think they didn't notice. I got a secret, they did notice. And I've been the most guilty. Again, everything I share, it's because I needed the help in it. So intermittent tech fasting, one hour a day. And what happens in that one hour a day? At first, it might be a little creepy. Yes. What do we do? But you know what's happened for us? See, we have a list of core values as a family. We've started to plan more adventures. We've started to share more jokes. We started to get to the beach more. And we weren't missing anything. And there's no chance for that to happen in my pocket. My friend Sean in Ohio actually has a gun safe. He goes home and he puts his phone in a gun safe for two hours every night. Because he knows if he really wants to get to it, he's got to go through the combo and everything. When it comes to one-on-one -on -one time with my spouse, do you guys think my phone is invited or not invited on date night? Not. Man, I tried that a few times. How do you think that went over? Not very good. Take that one text, that one email, that one thread. And I don't think there's any way, and again, we don't do this on purpose, there's any way to insult our loved ones more than to be sitting at a family function, at a family dinner, and actually take out your phone and respond to a Facebook thread, or a text, or an email. What I've found is on date night in these days that I plan with my kids, which my book is about, anything can wait for four to five hours. Just about anything can wait. 
but we've gotten into that response or response because we want to do good, right? We're trying to provide for our family, but sometimes we just have to be present for them. 